Hello guys, welcome to Just Plain Tech. In today's video, we are going to install the amazing Linux distribution, Slackware. And let's get into it. guys welcome to today's video and we're gonna install slackware so make sure you have your slackware USB and you're going to plug into your computer and turn it on all right so now we're just gonna hit enter So, um, we're just going to hit enter again, and now we'll take us to this command prompt. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in root, that will get us logged in, and now we're going to type in setup. Okay, so that will take us here, okay, so now what we're going to do and we're going to set up our target partitions. So if I want to install Slackware here, then that's what I'll do. And we're we'll gonna format as an ext4 journaling file system. Okay. So now as we can see our partition is in use so we're we're just gonna continue okay yes sure uh, actually let's just cancel I don't know I don't okay so yeah, let's just do done. Continue with setup. Okay, install Slackware from a USB stick. Okay, so it was found. Alright, so this is all the stuff we're going to install. Just say okay. All right. Let's just do full. And yeah, and it will install that, and then you'll be good to go. All right. So after that's done, now we're gonna um, you know, just finish configuring our Slackware system. Then we'll be good to go. All right, so let's finish up the configuring. Let's just skip making a boot stick. Simple, try to install Lilo automatically. So install Lilo. If you know specifically what you're doing, then you don't have to install Lilo, but if you don't, I recommend installing Lilo. Use the standard Linux console. The safe choice, we're just gonna do that. Some, yeah, just to enter to continue. Beginning with the Linux kernel 2.6.24, the text consoles default to UTF-8 mode. Unless you are using UTF-8 local, using the old default of a non-UTF text console is safer until some issues, wait, this option, no is a safe choice here. So yeah, just click no. Install, um, let's see. Install to master boot record. And there we go, installing the Linux loader. Hmm. Yeah, 
no. Um, yeah, just no, no, and then select our area. K okay, desktop environment. Yeah, set a root password. And it will be down here. And now we can reboot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. And we'll see you next time.